Hey Explorers, we are at Scott Berry Flea Market right behind me. I think it's the first time uh, since the whole lockdown that we've had again, level four, um, that the market people can open up their stalls again. Um, so things might be a little slow, but let's see what they are up to.
Yeah, yeah, this program comes from Europe, and then I've got another one that comes from Canada. So at the moment, we just got this one from Europe. All right, what does it do? The CBD, we're a registered company. We've got all our doctors of pharmaceutical behind our products. No? And we run from our CBD oils to our uh, capsules, to our creams, skin cancer cream, healing cream, muscle cooling uh, gels and everything. There's no THC levels in it. If you've got uh, problem, if you got problems, you, uh, further problems, you refer to our doctors, which means we've got doctors of pharmaceutical so Basically just TV, CBD oils. guys so we've been through the market unfortunately we have to do our tastings in the car um, we were almost through the market when this happened so what we will do is we are going to start with the samosa stall which is uh, very popular in Brazilian Natal the samosas chili bites and what was that what was the other thing called it something cheese something mac cheese mac cheese. mac cheese mac cheese but those are those are the chili bites. Yeah, this is the chili Okay, bites. let's try the chili bites first. Oh, the guys chili can't bites. see. This is the chili bites. Oh, wow. It's doughy. This is much better than the previous chili bites I've come across before. This is very good. Doesn't have a bite on it. It's got a little bit of a tingle. No, it doesn't. Might it's not, not as oily as I thought it would be, but it is deep fried though. Definitely not healthy at all. But um, let's try the next one is a mac cheese. It's a little bit of a bigger. Oh, the light is very terrible in here. Let's try it there. So I'm watching the screen, guys. So it's almost, it's also like a ball. You get a mac and cheese flavor, mm. but there's no mac. It's very cheesy. There's no, there's no macaroni mm. in here. I do this love is it. very good. Mm. This is very good. Mm. Wow. If I knew this was so good, I would have bought more. Mm. Then, we took all the samosas and we put it in one bag, so <laughs> let's hope that we can take that one there. This should be, no, this one. This should be the same. No, it's not. What have you got? Tastes like corn. No, this is the potato one. Mm, yeah, this is potato. All right, so it's a curry potato. Mm. I don't know if you can see on the inside. The, sorry, guys, the light is very bad at the moment. There's definitely it's a curry potato that's in here, but it's a samosa. This is very, very typical Indian style food that they do with phyllo pastry. Um, and filling and they deep fried and this is very 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 typical local food in KwaZulu Natal um, this is amazing this is very good it's very very good so the next one I don't know you've got to take one now <laughs> the different um, fillings you can put anything in here actually let's see the corn 
No, I don't have corn. I've got a mine is a cheese, cheese and onion. Yeah. Mm, this is cheese and oh, this is wow. This is very good. This one has corn in it. It's very good. This is awesome. Wow. I wish you guys some taste this. This one looks a lot different. It's got like a a cover. Looks like a breadcrumb mm. sort of a coating to it. I can't remember which is which. Chicken. Oh, this is a chicken mushroom. Mm. It's the first time that we had the chicken oh. mushroom one. This is this is very unique. Not not typical. Something else, something different. This is very good. Mm. Mm. This is very good. This is different to your normal typical samosas, like you usually get a curry or a, or a chicken or the corn or the potato or the cheese. Never ever have I had a chicken and mushroom samosa. This is very good. That one's the corn one that you have in the Because there's a corn. <clears throat> and you should have a, what's that? That's a cheese and onion, I think. Yeah, cheese and onion. You'll taste that's very good. Okay, so with the corn, it's like a sweet corn that they put in there. No, it's just onion and cheese. It's just good. That's really good. Wow. So guys, that's the Indian store that we saw. The market wasn't that big. Um, I think purely because of um, people still recovering from, from COVID. Um, we've recently had a level 4 lockdown <coughs> in South Africa so all the markets have been uh, closed unfortunately but um, let's taste some more yummy foods okay let's do the corn dog first Yaku has never had a corn dog in his life I know so this is going to be a first for him. He's got no idea what it is. Each stall's corn dogs taste different because they use different meat, different bastings, different doughs. But let's see what he thinks about it. It's a corn dog, but this is a this is a very basic a mm. corn dog. This is your normal. Um, Vienna sausage with a dough basting on it that they deep fry. Everyone knows what a corn dog is. This is very good. For me, it's okay. I think because this is a, a more plain one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very basic for him though. I love Vienna sausage, so that's very good for me. Okay, so next up, we've got the Jaffles. Do we know which Jaffle is which? I got a chicken mayo and you got a curry one. That looks like the curry. Yeah, this looks like the mince. Mince, all right, so small little square jaffles. There's yeah, so a jaffle, it's bread with filling inside. Oh yeah, it is, chicken mayo, it's on the packet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is, it's not very big guys. It's a, it's a small little square um, bread for, for the people in the US, if you don't know, or the, not the US. In other countries if you don't know what a jaffle is it's just bread that they take with a filling a typical filling a curry mince or a chicken mayo or something press it together in a press and then they they put it on a flame to toast it it's like a toasted salmi you can taste it homely the the mince meat inside is very homely it's good i've got the chicken mayo because it is very good Chicken mayo, can do with a bit more mayo. But also very good. Guys, this is very inexpensive food, I must say. They are not expensive at all with their food. I think the the jaffles were 15 Rand. So if you would look at it 
at, at US currency, US dollars, that would probably be like one dollar. Yeah, it's about a dollar. So this is 15 Rand South African Rand, which is very, very cheap. A lot of filling in there. They're definitely not shy with the filling. And it's very, it's home cooked. You can taste it's very, it's not commercially made. This is very good. All right, so this is a thick cook and mince. Very typical South African food. It's a dough that they deep fry with a filling inside. This is a curry mince that they put in. This is one of my favorite foods, but unfortunately also not very healthy. So if you're on a diet or want to eat healthy, this is definitely not something to eat. But every person's filling is different. And the fig cook, the dough and the base and the flavor is usually always very different. So let's try this one. Good. This is very good. This is it's a it's a very soft thick cooked dough. It's not a crunchy one. Let me taste. This is a very good dough though. Dough though. The mince is very this is very homemade mince. Mm. This is this is a it's a it's a strongish curry. It does have a bite for me. It does have a bite. Mm. It's not an Indian curry, but it's a curry. Very good, very filling. And this was 20 Rand. So this would be like a dollar fifty. And it's a meal. This is this is awesome. It's for filling. 20 Rand, this is amazing. Guys, if you ever if you're in the area of Scottborough Come and look at the market every Saturday. These people are here every Saturday. From 8 to 1, if I'm correct? I think it's 8 to 1, yes. 8 to 1 or 1.30 or something like that. Um, definitely worth... Um, the food is definitely worth it. All right, guys. So please like and subscribe. Like the videos. Please, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We are going to do a lot more of these. We are going to be featuring a historic place very, very soon video will also be uploaded soon there's a review review video coming up as well which we are going to try to feature weekly it depends on products and availability but um, please um, continue with us on our journey and our venture through South Africa